Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is Chef Carl from Cooking and Grilling with Carl. And in this video, I'm making for you a monkfish franchise recipe right after this. All right, so first up, let me list the ingredients. Also, the ingredients will be listed in the um, description below. So let me tell you a little bit about the franchise uh, recipe. Um, franchise is typically served as chicken franchise. In this case, I'm doing monkfish franchise, but it's typically um, your protein uh, dipped in egg wash. I'm sorry, dredged in seasoned flour and then dipped in egg wash, pan fried and then served with a lemon white wine sauce. All right. So right here, I'm making the egg wash. which is just eggs, you know, uh, two or three eggs and about a half a cup of milk. And here I'm just uh, doing my flour and I'm gonna add some lemon pepper and some salt to it. Yeah, so right here, let me take a moment to tell anybody that's not a subscriber that's watching this video, please hit that subscribe button so you can support the channel. It'll definitely be doing me a favor and also, if you want to continue to see these um, videos, then you definitely need to hit that subscribe button. So now I'm taking my monkfish and I'm dredging it into the flour and then it's going to go into the egg wash. Alright, so I'm just making sure everything is nice and coated. And then it's going to go into the egg wash. I'm going to coat it in the egg wash and then I'll show you the next steps. But another name for chicken franchise, and in this case, monkfish franchise, but another name for the franchise is uh, wedding chicken. And that's because it's typically used in a lot of uh, weddings and banquets. And this is also considered an Italian American dish. So when I did the research on it, you know, some people say it's an Italian dish, some people say it's an American dish, so I'm just going to say it's an Italian-American dish. So in a heated hot saute pan, I went in with some oil and a tablespoon of butter, so I'm going to make sure I get that heated as, as high as I can without burning the butter. And so as long as your oil and butter is hot enough, you want to go in with your, um, with your monkfish. So I just give it a quick shake just to make sure it's not sticking. The last thing you want is this stuff to stick. To stick. And you don't want your you don't want your pan so high that as soon as you put it in there, your egg your your egg batter starts uh, burning. So as you can see, I got it nice and golden brown. That's what you're looking for. All right, so I got it nice and golden brown on both sides. I'm gonna put it on a pan, I'm gonna finish it in the oven at 350 to 400 degrees, just because I don't wanna, like I said, I don't wanna um, overcook the egg, the egg batter that's on the outside of the monkfish. Oh, and FYI, the, another name for monkfish is also called poor man's lobster. So if you ever see that, then you know they're talking about monkfish. All right, so here I am going with my shallots and my garlic. And now I'm going in with my white wine. And here I am going in with some fresh squeezed lemon juice. And now I'm going in with my heavy cream. After this is this is about five minutes later after the um, heavy cream and white wine and everything reduced, 
and now I'm going in with about four or five tablespoons of butter that I'm going to stir in. And right here I just took my um, monkfish out the oven and now here I am stirring in my butter. And when you're stirring in your butter you want to kind of lower the heat. That way you can make sure your butter doesn't break, doesn't separate from the liquid. And I just went in with a little bit of uh, fresh parsley flakes. So this is what you're looking for in your monkfish, a nice golden brown, a nice golden brown crust. So here I am going into a dish with a little bit of the, um, the lemon sauce. And so here I am just plating up the um, monkfish. So at this point, the recipe is pretty much done. So here we go, Monkfish Franchise. So I just want to thank you for checking out another one of my videos. Also, if you want to check out some dope food reviews, check out my man uh, Dark Knight 392 at JHutch TV1 on YouTube. You got the dope food reviews. All right. So on that note, I just want to thank you for checking out another one of my videos. Hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And also, catch me on social media at Cooking and Grilling with Carl. God bless.